Bang, knees and knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara should be home any minute from work, and today we're checking out the bunk, the Buck Bantam 285 Plus. This is the Buck Bantam Lightweight. Also, um, Alien Knives sent me some beads. So we got a um, JG10 one that could be rip dyed. A this is a glow in the dark one. So you see it really quick, you blaze it up, and bang. Looks like it's on fire. Also, we got a Micarta one. This one's really cool. I really like this one. It's a uh, brown Micarta. I love Micarta. It's very lightweight. They're all very lightweight, but very, very cool. Um, he told me I didn't have to show them on the channel or anything. He was just sending me to have them, but... Uh, but I figured I'd show you guys. Um, he is making these. Very, very cool. Um, I might give uh, one of those away if I can talk Kara into it. Just kidding. Um, but no, we might be giving one away. I, didn't, I wasn't kidding about that part. Anyways, so the Buck Bantam Lightweight. I want to thank Me With Knives for sending us the package that had this. We actually did the unboxing live. Um, the package came with these two knives. I appreciate that. I'm going to show the edge really quick that I put on there. I know this doesn't say too much, but it says something. Very, very sharp. But yes, thank you, me with knives. I really appreciate you sending us the goodies and the knives. Thank you very much, bud. Made in the USA, which is really, really cool. Let's get into this. <laughs> the bell. <laughs> Something just fell and hit the bell. Anyways, Buck Bantam Lightweight. So this thing's 440 HC with a total length of 19 centimeters, which is basically seven and a half inches. I think it equals 7.4 inches with a blade length of 7.9 centimeters, which is 3.1 inches. We will do a couple size comparisons very quickly. Here is... The Kershaw um, bare knuckle. And then here, I got another buck right here somewhere. Where is it at? Okay, here, the buck marksman. Also, in the package that this knife was sent in, we have this little guy, which is like the 283. Yeah, the 283. This also came in the package. So it was like a package, a buck package. I'm not going to speak too much about this. Basically like a little coin um, coin knife. You know, it's not uh, not something you would carry for like, you know, everyday EDC. But something you might throw in a toolbox or something. Um, let's do one more size comparison. Here is the Benchmade Benchmade bug out which is basically the exact same size as you can see um now let's get into this knife so the good and the bad on this knife okay also i just want to say this is three millimeters uh blade stock thickness so not a very thick blade stock but also not a very thin kind of right in the middle um I like that it's USA made. I do like that it is a hollow grind because that way through sharpening, it's not going to get thicker for the first few sharpenings. Um, I like that it came with an edge laid back. I have sharpened it since then. Um, I kept their same angle. Um, it did take a, uh, a very good edge. It is a little thick behind the edge, but uh, it's not bad, especially for the kind of knife it is. Also, it's very, very lightweight. Um, I love this stone wash. Very, very cool stone wash. Um, definitely a worker's uh, type of um, finish. I don't mind that it is uh, this, um, this thermoplastic handle material. Um, 440C is a very tough steel, so I actually like that, especially for this price point. Um, the blade shape is awesome. I really like that. Now, let's go to the things that I'm not that happy about, that I, I don't really like, or that would be a bad to me. One, it's not a reversible pocket clip. I'm not a huge fan of tip down. Now, on a back lock, it's not that big of a deal because you pull it out. 
and then you can get right to it. So it's not that big of a deal, and it's not that bad of a clip. It leaves enough hanging out for you to get to. But they put the lanyard hole on this side, so you you know it kind of doesn't make sense i guess if you just drop it in the bottom of your pocket and you want to take off the clip because you actually can take off the clip i do like that because i actually put torx now the next bad thing is that you can't take it apart the only thing you do is take the the clip off it's a pinned knife so since it has these pins it makes it to where you can't take it apart and clean it or anything like that um the backspace, you see how it doesn't really line up, how it's just like kind of inset in there. And then there's a lot of flex right here. So it's not really much of an outdoors knife because if you're squeezing, it almost pinches you just a little bit when you go like this. It's not horrible, but for light EDC use, it's not bad. This thing actually works really good, like just for opening packages or if you want to throw it in your tackle box or something, you know, for cutting your string, uh, fishing and, you know, cutting stuff and maybe, you know, even, uh, you know, cutting up a fish if you want. But sharpening it, this these thumb studs do get in the way. You see the edge goes back behind there, so you have to, like, turn it sideways if you're going to freehand it. Um, on a fixed angle system, I don't know how it would be. You see they're kind of up high, which gives you lots of leverage for the action, which the action is pretty good, and I can one-hand it. And I can slap it forward, but you got to be careful right there. Um, if you tuck it right there, it does hit you in a good way. It doesn't uh, cut you, but if you hold it low, it will cut you so you want to be careful with that luckily there's a lot of retention where you can get it down to where you don't uh, actually put it forward too far um now the color's really cool because even though i wouldn't say this is a good hunting knife but if you do drop it in the woods or the weeds or something you're going to see it pretty quickly the blade geometry on it isn't i mean i do like that they laid back the edge so it does make it cut better. But the blade geometry really isn't that great. Um, I didn't really measure the thickness behind the edge. I guess I can really quick. It's like 24 thousandths behind the edge. So I guess that's not bad. But for the blade stock thickness, they could have went a lot thinner, especially with a hollow grind. Um, I do like that they used a hollow grind because at least it's going to stay that thickness as you go up and they did lay the edge back. So it does cut pretty good. I'm not taking anything away from it, uh, you know, its performance. I like that you can choke up right here and get this nice little grip right there and get for close, um, you know, cuts and stuff like that. The sharpening toil is pretty decent. It wasn't that bad. So overall, for the price, this is a well... It's a, it's a good knife for the price. The price is very cheap, and it makes it to where you're going to have a good quality knife. It's easy to sharpen. It's a tough steel. It's not a hard steel, but it's a tough steel. So it's not going to be the kind of steel that uh, breaks or chips on you, most likely. It's most likely going to deform. Um, but it, it's a good it's a good little user it's a good knife it's a good knife to throw in your tackle box or you know if you need a knife for the day uh <clears throat> it's not bad now a back lock is a strong lock but it does have some flex like i get a little bit of flex towards the back lock which a lot of back locks do have but it's also got a little side to side it's not horrible but it does have it a little bit. Now, does that worry me? Not really because it's a back lock, so it's not that big of a deal. But it is there, so I, I'm going to bring it up. Um, before, just a user cutting open packages um, in the field knife, you know, it's not going to be your hard use knife or anything like that. You definitely wouldn't want a baton with it. These pins are, are you know, they're not going to be the strongest, but I could see it lasting a long time as a, let's see if I can middle finger flick it. Uh, I could see it lasting a long time in somebody's tackle box or somebody's toolbox. Uh or something like that not too bad it's a good knife and i like that it's a usa made um 440c 440c is it 440c oh, 420 420c sorry 420c uh pocket knife that's uh easy to see and you know easy to sharpen easy to use there you guys go peace
And thank you to the person that sent these two knives to me. It was an awesome gift. He also sent me a package of goodies that uh, I've been uh, munching on. So thank you very much. Peace.